What's happening, man? Let's talk about PED. Or let's just say PED, because I don't know how to pronounce the thing. Pedip Pedipco, Pedipco. Basically, it's a it's a gas and oil play. It got hyped up and started up um, last Friday by Will Mead. If you're familiar with Will Mead, he's the one that basically made us aware of BBIG. We're not even going to go there about BBIG. But anyway, um, a buddy of mine has asked me last Friday after he seen Will Mead tweet about it. He already bought in, but he asked me what I thought about the stock. And I told him I'll look into it. So I apologize to anybody that's in PED or was in PED and sold it. Um, or whatnot are the ones that wanted to get in and they didn't and then now they're getting in late because I should have been made this video for y'all not that I'm a you know um, like, like I got a crystal ball or something but anyway so I looked at the PED and I hit my buddy back and I told him that I like the stock and I said the only way that I really get in, get in the stock is if it was in between like a dollar fifty and dollar sixty I'll probably start a position around a dollar sixty range because when I looked at the chart before it ran up on Friday from like a dollar forty seven or something like that, it went up to a dollar sixty and got stopped there. But then it ended up breaking through a dollar sixty and made its way up. So that's why my initial buy in would have been anywhere under a dollar sixty. Um institutional ownership is looking pretty good. They got twenty eight institutions that's invested in PED. They're all long. There's no nobody that's short in this stock. Speaking of that, the short interest is actually extremely low. They got like 200,000 shares available to short the stock. And I want to say the cost to borrow was like 44, 45%, which actually went down. Um, and within the institutions that actually bought into the stock of 2021 was seven institutions and that bought in in 2021 and only three of them sold. So there's more institutions buying than there is institutions selling. And then today will Mead actually tweeted that he was long on PED or PED was a long play which again he said the same thing about BBIG how he was holding it to 15 or 20 and then the next day he claimed he got stopped out again but we're not gonna go there let's, let's talk about PED so when I seen the chart last week after I talked to my boy and they did a direct offering on Monday for about 7 million shares it went as low as $1.47 and ended up making his way back up. It stopped around that dollar sixty mark again. A resistance, prior resistance, made his way over there, over the, over that. Then it made it to a dollar eighty nine, which was also a prior resistance on Friday. A lot of you average is probably around a dollar eighty nine. Made its way over a dollar eighty nine. Treated that as support. It tried to get to the two dollar mark. Actually, I think it made it over the two dollar mark. Um, but then it ended up coming back down, but it rested all day on Monday, I believe. Um, that's why I should have been made this video. At, on, on top of $1.90 most of the day. But then throughout this red week we just recently had, through like basically all stocks, especially quote unquote meme stocks, um, it came back down to around $1.60 range. And it traded in between $1.60, $1.70 most of the week, making $1.60 appear to be the floor. So if I was to get a position in this stock again, what well now, I'll probably, I'll, I would look for anything in between $1.90 and, and, and $2, to be honest. Uh, if I get lower than $1.90, that's even better. That's me personally. Um, so we're going to see how it plays out the rest of the day. Take care. Thanks for watching this video.